In a distant village nestled among rolling hills, lived a young boy named Aidan. He possessed an insatiable curiosity that led him to explore the world around him with boundless enthusiasm. Aidan's village was known for its annual grand fair, a celebration of arts, crafts, and talents from every corner of the land. From a young age, Aidan displayed an exceptional talent for playing the violin. He could coax melodies that stirred the soul from the strings of his instrument. His passion for music consumed him. And he spent every free moment practicing and perfecting his craft. His family, friends, and even the village elders were captivated by his performances. Aidan's fame spread beyond the village. And soon, he received an invitation to showcase his talents at the Grand Fair. Ecstatic and full of hope, he embarked on the journey to the fairground. As he stood on the grand stage, his fingers danced on the strings, producing the most enchanting symphony ever heard. The audience was spellbound, and a standing ovation greeted him as he concluded his performance. Aidan's success at the grand fair catapulted him into the limelight. He was offered opportunities to perform in grand theatres and palaces across the land. The applause and admiration of the masses became his constant companions. His life had transformed into a dream. Or so it seemed. Yet, amidst the whirlwind of success, a nagging feeling of emptiness tugged at Aidan's heart. He began to realize that his success had overshadowed the process he once loved. He missed the joy of practicing for the sheer pleasure of playing. Rather than for the applause, Aidan's once soulful melodies started to sound mechanical, lacking the emotion that once defined his music. One day, while traveling through a remote valley, Aidan's carriage broke down, stranded in a village far removed from the glitz and glamour. He encountered a humble old man named Elias. Elias was a violin maker, known for crafting instruments that resonated with a unique warmth and depth of character. Aidan confided in Elias, sharing his journey of soaring success and diminishing satisfaction. Elias listened intently, his eyes reflecting a wisdom born from years of experience. He then extended an invitation for Aidan to stay and learn the art of violin making. A skill he believed would reconnect Aidan with the essence of his music. As the days turned into weeks, Aidan immersed himself in the craft of violin making. He learned to carve, shape, and assemble wood with a deep reverence, understanding that every instrument had a story to tell. Through this process, he discovered the beauty of imperfections, the knots in the wood, the flaws that gave character and the challenges that breathed life into his creations. One evening, as Aidan played the violin he had meticulously crafted under Elias' guidance, tears welled up in his eyes. The music flowed from his heart, each note carrying the soulfulness he had once lost in the pursuit of fame. Aidan realized that embracing both successes and failures was the key to a truly fulfilling journey. With newfound wisdom, Aidan returned to his music career. He played with a renewed passion, embracing every performance as an opportunity to share his emotions. Rather than seeking external validation, his music resonated on a deeper level, touching the hearts of listeners in ways he could have never imagined. Word spread about Aidan's transformation and he began to inspire others to find their own balance between success and passion. The Grand Fair invited him back, not as a performer seeking accolades, but as a mentor sharing his journey. Aidan's performances became celebrations of human connection, and his music served as a reminder that success and failure were merely two sides of the same coin, both contributing to the symphony of life. And so, the tale of Aidan's journey echoed through generations, teaching all who heard it that the pursuit of passion should be driven by the love for the craft. Rather than the allure of success, the melody of Aidan's life became a timeless anthem, 
reminding us to embrace the entire spectrum of experiences that shape our existence.